Hello learner, my name is Dickens Mugalo and uh, today we are in today's lesson we want to discuss uh, the effect of heat on uh, salts. As you, as you know very well, uh, anytime heat energy is applied to a substance, the substance we expect it to undergo uh, decomposition. So the same thing applies to salts. Uh, when some salts are uh, heated, they actually decompose. So uh, that's what I want us to look at in today's lesson. And we are going to start by looking at the effect of heat on carbonate. So that's the first one. Uh, effect of heat on carbonates. Effect of heat on carbonates. Uh, that is, will be our first uh, subtopic, carbonates. Uh, we need to know this that the carbonates of both sodium and potassium are stable. Uh, we are seeing a sodium carbonate and potassium carbonate are stable. So these two are stable. Why? Because uh, sodium and potassium, if you look at the reactivity series, these two elements are very reactive. And for that matter, they form very stable carbonates. And for that reason, these two carbonates do not uh, decompose. So you're saying that the carbonates of sodium and potassium do not decompose. Why? Because these two elements form uh, stable carbonates from the fact that uh, these two elements, sodium and potassium, are very reactive. So the only condition that will make the two to decompose is if the salts are hydrated. So our next point is uh, they only decompose, they decompose uh, if they are hydrated. We know uh, a hydrated salt is a salt that contains water of crystallization. So uh, we are saying that sodium carbonate or potassium carbonate can only decompose if it contains water of uh, crystallization. Therefore, it's only possible if it is a uh, hydrated. So for example, if you consider uh, sodium carbonate, sodium carbonate, uh, decahydrate, decahydrate, uh, this is the formula, uh, sodium carbonate, uh, sodium carbonate, uh, deca means it contains 10 molecules of water of crystallization. You can see this salt here is hydrated because it contains 10 molecules of water of crystallization. Therefore, when this one is acted upon by heat, it's going to decompose, unlike if it is anhydrous. So this is anhydrous sodium carbonate. It doesn't have water of crystallization, therefore it will not decompose. But this one is, is hydrated, therefore it's going to decompose. So this will be the products. If you heat sodium carbonate, decahydrate, uh, it's going to decompose. It decomposes by losing water of crystallization. We shall get anhydrous uh, sodium carbonate, anhydrous sodium carbonate, and the 10 molecules of uh, water of crystallization. So this one is hydrated, hydrated because it contains water of crystallization. Then this one is uh, anhydrous, anhydrous because it doesn't have water of crystallization. So uh, sodium carbonate can only decompose if it is hydrated. Otherwise, if it is not hydrated, then it will not decompose because you have said sodium carbonate and potassium carbonate are stable carbonates. The same will apply if we are having a hydrated potassium carbonate. It will decompose to give you anhydrous sodium carbonate, uh, potassium carbonate, and water. 
Having said that, uh, the other metal carbonates, the other metal carbonates uh, decompose on heating to give you two products. The first product is a metal oxide and the other product is a carbon four oxide gas. Unlike the sodium carbonate and potassium carbonate, we have said these two do not decompose. But the rest, the other metal carbonates, when they are acted upon by heat, they'll break down to give you two products, a metal oxide, corresponding metal oxide, and a carbon dioxide gas. So let us look at uh, examples of that, uh, examples of the other metal carbonates. You're just going to pick a few. Uh, the first one is zinc carbonate. When you heat zinc carbonate from that generalization, we expect to get uh, zinc oxide and carbon dioxide gas. So those will be our products. You'll get zinc oxide and carbon dioxide gas. So this is solid. This one is also solid. So it's also good we also know the colors of these common uh, oxides. Uh, zinc oxide has two colors. When it is hot, uh, it's yellow in color. Yellow when it is hot, but on cooling, uh, the color is white. So it's good we know that that uh, zinc oxide is yellow and hot and white when cold, uh, like that. But zinc carbonate is a solid. The other example is lead carbonate. Lead carbonate, it decomposes on heating uh, to produce lead oxide plus carbon dioxide uh, gas. So uh, once again, this is another common uh, oxide. It's also good we know the color. Uh, lead oxide is uh, uh, red brown, red brown when red brown when hot and then on cooling uh, it turns to uh, yellow yellow when cold so that will be the color of lead oxide so you should be very keen not to confuse uh, zinc oxide and lead oxide uh, zinc oxide is yellow and hot white on cooling uh, but lead oxide is red brown and hot and then on cooling it changes to yellow another example is decomposing magnesium carbonate when you decompose magnesium carbonate using heat, you'll get uh, magnesium oxide and carbon four oxide uh, gas. Magnesium oxide is just white, uh, solid. It's white in color. Another example is effect of heat on copper carbonate. When we heat copper carbonate, uh, as you can see from these general results, we expect to form uh, copper oxide and carbon four oxide gas. Copper oxide is another example of a common oxide. And in this case, copper oxide is uh, black in, in color. So from these four equations, you can see uh, that these metal carbonates decompose to give you the corresponding uh, metal oxide and carbon four oxide uh, gas. Now, having said that, we can look at uh, the carbonates of ammonia, the carbonate of ammonia. We call it ammonium, ammonium uh, carbonate. So ammonium carbonate behaves differently when it is uh, decomposed, ammonium carbonate. When ammonium carbonate is decomposed, uh, it behaves differently in that this one gives you uh, three products. So the first product is ammonia gas. You get ammonia gas because of the ammonium ion. Uh, the other product will be carbon dioxide uh, because of the carbonate. And then the other product will be steam. 
or water in form of a gaseous a gaseous state so we are saying that when ammonium carbonate is decomposed we get three products unlike the metal carbonates the metal carbonates will give you two products uh, the corresponding metal oxide and co2 but ammonium carbonate will give you three products you get ammonia gas uh, carbon dioxide and and water so anytime you write any question uh, don't forget to to balance so let us balance yeah we put two on uh, two on ammonia gas uh, that will mean i will have a uh, two atoms of uh, nitrogen this side has two atoms of nitrogen uh what about hydrogen uh two times four that is eight atoms of hydrogen this side has two times three that is six plus two i'll have six atoms of hydrogen we now check the atoms of carbon uh, this one is one atom of carbon this is another atom of carbon so it is balanced lastly high oxygen atoms this side has three this side has two plus one so there are three so the equation is balanced uh, lastly is the effect of it on hydrogen carbonates uh, hydrogen carbonates uh, such as sodium hydrogen carbonate and potassium hydrogen carbonate decompose on heating don't confuse the carbonates of the carbonate of sodium will not decompose but the hydrogen carbonate of sodium will decompose to give you uh, three products as follows the first product will be sodium carbonate and the other product will be carbon dioxide and lastly the other product will be will be water so we shall get three uh, three products uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate you hit you will get uh, sodium carbonate carbon dioxide and and water so let us balance our equation we balance by putting a two on sodium hydrogen carbonate you will confirm the atoms will balance on both sides of the of the equation uh, the same applies to uh, potassium hydrogen carbonate potassium hydrogen carbonate when it is acted upon by heat it will give you three products you will get potassium <coughs> carbonate uh, the other product will be carbon dioxide uh, then the other product will be will be water so we balance don't forget don't forget you put two on potassium hydrogen carbon so you should be keen not to confuse uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate with the sodium carbonate potassium hydrogen carbonate with the pot with the potassium carbonate we have said that sodium carbonate does not decompose because it is a stable carbonate but sodium hydrogen carbonate will decompose to give you uh, sodium carbonate plus carbon dioxide and then plus water the same applies to potassium hydrogen carbonate it will decompose to give you potassium carbonate carbon dioxide and water and not uh, potassium carbonate so potassium carbonate should be careful that one does not uh, decompose so uh, we have learned about the effect of heat on carbonates and we have seen that a uh, sodium carbonate and potassium carbonate do not decompose because the two form stable carbonates putting in mind that the two elements are very reactive next we have said they only decompose if they are hydrated then the next thing we have said is that the other metal carbonates decompose on heating to give you two products we say we get a metal oxide and carbon dioxide gas and then uh, we have said ammonium carbonate decomposes to give you three products uh, we have said we get uh, ammonia gas uh, carbon dioxide and and water and then lastly we have said uh, that the hydrogen carbonates of sodium and potassium decompose to give you the corresponding metal carbonate carbon dioxide and and water so we have come to the end of our lesson i would like you to try and answer the following uh, questions uh, try and answer the following questions 
uh, our first question is uh, state state two carbonates state two carbonates that do not state two carbonates that do not decompose on heating so now we are saying uh, you you state two carbonates that do not decompose on on heating that is the first question second question write a balanced equation equation uh, to show the effect to show the effect of it on so you are supposed to you are supposed to uh, write a balanced uh, equation to show the effect of heat on the following salts and the first salt is uh, zinc carbonate try and write the equation the equation obviously will have uh, the reactant side and the product side try that also try uh, the effect of heat on uh, lead a uh, lead carbonate and then lastly try the effect of heat on on calcium uh, calcium uh, carbonate so uh, those three try and write the equation and then you get the correct products and don't forget to to balance so that's the end of our lesson for today i'll see you uh, in the next uh, lesson thank you so much <music>